All right, uh, Shane here from Liberty Under Attack Radio and Devani Podcast. I've got a rare video for you today on some software that could be game changing. Unfortunately, as uh, as as with uh, you know quite a few really incredible projects I've been looking into, uh, this one is not too well known yet. So I feel I should do my part in uh, bringing it to your attention. Uh, if you aren't already familiar with it, I have seen a couple people post about it, which is great. But uh, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, more people need to know about this, so uh, I'm going to uh, to tell you a little bit about it. But before I get into it, I'd like to make one announcement. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Central Time on this channel, uh, Liberty Under Attack on, on YouTube, we are doing the first ever live episode of the Vanu Podcast. Uh, we'll spend the entirety of the show taking your questions on anything pertaining to Vanu. Uh, do you have questions about your self-liberation, obstacles that you're having difficulty overcoming uh, as you're moving towards uh, your chosen Vanu lifestyle? Do you have questions on mean-timed harassment or the philosophy, beh or the, uh, philosophy behind Vanu? All of those questions are fair game, and we encourage you to attend live uh, and ask them. Again, that will take place on March 30th, tomorrow, at 1 p.m. Central Time, uh, youtube.com forward slash Liberty Under Attack. Uh, we'd certainly love uh, to see you there. So, let's get into it. The subject of discussion for today is ZeroNet, uh, a whole slew of applications utilizing the Bitcoin network uh, in BitTorrents, and it does a lot. It really, really does. So, let's start from the beginning. You'll visit ZeroNet.io and download the installer for whatever operating system uh, you're using. I've already done this, so I'm not going to go through the whole process, but it is super easy. Uh, if you're using Windows, you'll just download. Uh, you'll click that download. It'll give you a zip file. And it'll look something like this. And uh, you'll just unzip it. And then uh, you'll be able to, I guess, interact with uh, the application. So to get started, it's easy. Really easy. You don't have to do any command line interface or anything like that. You just click on this little Xeronet guy. And it'll pop open what you, uh, what you need. So once you get into the ZeroNet ecosystem, you'll see that there's this uh, IP address. I'm not sure if that's what it actually is, but it's an address. It lo definitely looks different than what you would see on the main internet. So whenever you click on that application button, as I showed you, it'll open that up and uh, it'll open ZeroNet in your uh, default browser. So really neat. It's uh, so yeah, really easy to use on that front. So <clears throat> after this, you'll see. Um, it's it'd be your public address, your public key, your public uh, public key for your for this Bitcoin wallet that's generated, um, or that will be generated. Um, that is the public key uh, for the website. That's the the website address. And there are ways uh, you can get uh, you know pretty links and such. Uh, that's a WordPress thing. It's a little different here uh, on the blockchain, but you can make that look uh, look pretty. And you can also use Namecoin's uh, domain, so you can get uh, you know LibertyUnderAttack.bit, VaniPodcast.bit, YourBlog.bit, etc., uh, etc. Et um, I'm more lean to uh, lean towards just the public addresses, and then there are ways to, like I said, to make that look better, so you don't, people don't have to type in you know this uh, this long Bitcoin address. People aren't going to remember that. I don't even remember mine. So. Yeah, uh, so yeah, good to have uh, the alternative way of accessing it. So this is the main page you'll get sent to. So port, that's uh, port closed. I don't think that's really important. You can uh, obviously use this through Tor, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, so yeah, this is the first ZeroNet page. Let's build a decentralized internet together. Uh, site is currently served by 636 peers without any central server. So... The reason I found out about this was it's uh, it's a way to set up decentralized, uncensorable websites uh, using you know Namecoin, um, using Namecoin addresses, or just the the BitTorrent Bitcoin network. So it's really really awesome. Obviously, with uh, you know what's been going on uh, in you know the past years uh, with uh, with uh, with Fascist Tube and Fascist Book becoming very very hostile towards any view that promotes freedom, it seems. Uh, it's great to have this alternative out there, and it's about time. It's it's a necessity, um, you know, if, if free speech is uh, really going to continue to exist on uh, the internet, and also these uh, other, I guess, freedom technologies like uh, like dark like uh, deep web markets and uh, things like that. We need a place. We need our second realm infrastructure, which that is what ZeroNet is, and it's not just decentralized websites. That's the main the main focus of it, but it can replace a lot of what we do. Um, on you know the first realm internet through uh, you know these centralized uh, DNS uh, hosting services, so to speak. So yeah, this is the first page you'll get to, and let's see here. So these are some default sites that they've created. So we're going to take a look at these just to give you an idea uh, of what uh, what all this can do. So this is zero board. It's a simple messaging board. I'm not sure what it actually would look like, but yeah. So it, it just you know loads the site really nicely. 
and uh, you know these are just messages from users of uh, Zeronet. So I guess it's just a, a message board sort of thing. So pretty cool, pretty cool, uh, pretty cool. Here's a uh, Zero Talk. It's a Reddit-like decentralized forum. So as you can see, they use the name coin address talk.zeronetwork.bit, and um, this is the uh, I guess the the Reddit version. So let's take a look at uh, at this. So yeah, looks similar to Reddit. You've got the up upvoting features. Uh, you can start a new topic. I don't, I don't know if it'll be as all right, sorry about that. I forgot I had uh, food in the uh, in the oven, dinner in the oven, so I had to go uh, deal with that real quick. But I, what I was saying was, it's obviously not as expansive as Reddit yet. Reddit's been around for a long time. Uh, it's got millions of users. Uh, there are definitely aren't a million people using ZeroNet yet, so that will you know have an impact. Which is the point of this video is to get to to, to get this out there to you, uh, so you can start using it. So this is the uh, Reddit sort of style forum. Um, there's a uh, Zero Blog, which is a microblogging platform like Twitter, I would presume. Uh, so let's see what we've got here. Obviously, everything loads pretty quickly, uh, which is nice. It's a very clean-looking, uh, you know, web page. And uh, I'll get more into the, uh, you know, actually setting up a website here on uh, ZeroNet uh, momentarily. But let's see here. So this is supposed to be a Twitter-style uh, site, which doesn't really look like it. <laughs> um, or I guess maybe you have to create a new, may, create a new blog. Maybe this isn't the uh, the actual uh, the actual platform. But anyways, it's got a Twitter sort of thing. There's zero mail, end to end encrypted mailing. Fantastic. Uh, definitely a must have feature uh, for these kind of deep web technologies. And it's so easy to do. Why wouldn't you? So this is the I guess maybe kind of like PGP. Pretty good privacy. Uh, you know, set up, uh, you know, default on zero mail, rain through uh, the Bitcoin network. So that's really, really freaking incredible if you ask me. So uh, this one's taking a little longer to load. Uh, but yeah, okay here. So uh, zero mail and into end, end, end encrypted P2P messaging system. Awesome. So yeah, this is, uh, so if you need a, if you're looking for a new, uh, I guess, email address, there you go. There you go. So let's take a look at what else we've got here. Zero me, which is a P2P social network. Let's see what we've got here. All right, so it's uh, content.json uh, downloaded. And here we go. Uh, request permission. permission. Now, I haven't done all these things yet. So, um, but yeah, this is the, I suppose, the P2P social network. So this is kind of what, what that'll look like. Um, obviously, may, it'll probably look a lot better once you actually create an account, or not really an account, but you create a, uh, a user uh, in this uh, in this application, so there's that, and then there's just zero sites where you can discover more websites, uh, and these are all ones that people have already set up. So let's take a look at uh, some of these. Oh, I want to find one, but uh, let me see here. Oh, this one's awesome. Uh, this one is really really incredible. So <laughs> obviously, the great thing about blockchain technology is it's, immu it's an immutable ledger, so this stuff can't be taken down. So you want to talk about uh, free, uh, you know, movies, TV shows, all of that sort of stuff. So here's the YouTube version of, um, of the, uh, I guess, the, the ZeroNet application. And here is the web torrent. So it looks like there's, uh, you know, this page is deprecated. Not big deal for our purposes here. But you can download Rick and Morty. Uh, you can watch it, stream it. South Park. Uh, <laughs> you can get all this stuff here on the blockchain. So, I mean, this stuff's going to be there forever. It's going to be there forever as long as there are peers uh, to host the site. Uh, this is, yeah, this is really, really incredible. You can upload it. I mean, it's just like any other torrent site or, uh, you know, watch, uh, you know, watch series.to or whatever one that, uh, that, that you use. Uh, you can definitely, you can get that there too. So this is just one website that's already been created on the ZeroNet platform. But, uh, I mean, yeah, there's, uh, you know, zero chain and anonymous chain similar to 4chan. Uh, chat rooms, uh, a lot of really, really awesome, awesome stuff. Um, so that's just to give you an idea there. So I suppose I should talk a little bit about the decentralized websites because that might be the most interesting thing for some folks. Is that uh, let me go ahead and get that open again, show you, show you that. Uh, you just click zero net here and that'll open up. But, uh, that was what drew me to it is, you know, I could have, you know, Liberty Under Attack and the Vani website on a uh, decentralized, uh, you know, on the decentralized Bitcoin network, which is really, really awesome. So, so yes, yeah, so let's talk about, I guess, getting, uh, getting zero sites. So I'll show you kind of the intro page here for creating a new one. 
Let's click Submit New Site there, and uh, it'll take you to your your address. Which, uh, if you're going to use, I think for any address you create, you'll just basically copy and paste uh, this right here, and then uh, you'll have to either generate a public and private key. Uh, for the website because the private key is how you sign it and actually make changes to the HTML or make edits or add new posts or whatever you want to do. Uh, the private key is how, how you actually verify, um, you know, or how, how people verify that it was updated by you and how you actually sign the site uh, so that the changes can be made. So um, there's that uh, that IP address. You'll put that in there. I don't think you. Well, I guess you do need that. But uh, then you would have your uh, your your public key. That would be the address there. Uh, or if you decide to go through Namecoin, uh, whatever it is, libertyunderattack.bit, uh, you change. You choose the title for it. Uh, test website for video. And uh, for for purposes here, uh, let me go ahead and just generate uh, generate these real quick, uh, so you can get an idea of. Let's see, bit address. Let's see here. Here we go. Okay. So, going to go ahead and generate public and private keys here. And I would not recommend doing this uh, using, I guess, this version of it. There are, if you go, like, if you go to the zero nets, uh, I guess, where it tells you, I'll put, I'll put links to these in the show notes. But um, if you go to, like, their tutorial to give you two options, you can either do it through the zero net download here. Uh, and it would be the, let me see if I can find it, uh, not data. This is, uh, the data here is this websites that you visited and also your websites. Uh, and you would just, you know, upload the, you know, whatever you want to put in there, HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Uh, and then uh, this is what actually launches the page, the content.json file. So <clears throat> I'm going to get back here, see if I can find the actual... Uh, I don't know which one it is actually. Maybe Python 27.dll. Anyways, one of those is uh, what you would uh, use to generate uh, your address, your public and private keys. So here we, we, we've already generated one through bit address. And again, I wouldn't do it on here because this private key is on a website. Now it is HTTP, HTTPS, but still, you don't want someone to hack into your website. You don't want someone to. And you can actually send, you know, Bitcoin. People can actually send Bitcoin to these addresses. So. Um, Let's go ahead and copy that, and this will be, oh my gosh, I had this problem last time. Doesn't want to just copy. Okay, well, anyways, just try that. So, there's our public address there. Uh, test website for video, English, and then you choose, choose the category, and yes, you know, it's the deep web, there's a porn option there. Uh, we'll just choose blog, uh, test website for blog. And I'm not actually going to go through the process here because I, I haven't, I've had issues uh, creating mine. I just haven't gone back to it to try to edit it. I've gotten to the point where you, uh, once you create your site, it'll go into data. And this, this public address will actually be the, you know, the, web, the website address for your website. So you'll basically, let me find a simpler one here to show you. Uh, yeah, so you'd go in, you'd create a file for CSS. Uh, you'd create a file for HTML, you'd create a file for JavaScript, and the content.json would pull that information and then, uh, you know, render the web page that you would find on ZeroNet. So, have, I've had a couple issues uh, with, with that so far, but one of my colleagues actually got his uh, freelancing website already up on ZeroNet, on the ZeroNet network, on the Bitcoin network. So, it is possible, it's not hard, there just has to be at least one peer uh, to, or I guess one node, uh, sending that information to the blockchain, uh, so to speak. So that's uh, the idea there. It's really, it's really not hard to. It's it's easy to get to this point where the the public address is generated. Uh, but where I've gotten to is where uh, it it goes to the ZeroNet page where it'll show you know liberty liberty under attack dot uh, dot bits or whatever the public address is. But it won't load the JSON file. So I don't know what's going on there. Uh, I really have no idea. I haven't gotten back to it. But it's not too complicated of a process. Unfortunately, there aren't a lot of tutorials out there. So maybe once I get it figured out on my end, uh, maybe I'll go ahead and create that tutorial myself uh, so that you guys can go ahead and uh, create your, uh, I guess, decentralized versions of your websites uh, hosted on the Bitcoin network. So let me see if there's anything else. Um, I really don't think so. I really don't think so. But uh, as I said, I, I really, really recommend going and downloading the ZeroNet. Getting in there, uh, accessing these websites is super, super easy to do. As I said, you just go to zeronet.io, download for Windows or 
whatever other platform you use. I think they have Linux and yeah, Linux 32 and 64, Apple. And uh, you can do manual installs, obviously, and this is uh, clearly open source. So lots of options for downloading. Then uh, you'll open up you'll open up that folder where the zip file is. You're on you'll unpack it, unzip it, and then you'll get this right here. Not this. Let me get back to it. Uh, you get back to this page right here, and then you just click ZeroNet application, and then you're into the ZeroNet network uh, full of these decentralized websites, so all these torrents, videos, TV shows, movies, uh, all of that um, hosted on the on the ZeroNet uh, network. So. Really, really easy to do. Go test it out. You know, even if you don't want to create a website yourself, go test it out. Go download a go and download a TV show. Actually, don't do that. That's illegal. I'm not telling you to you know partake in illegal activity. But uh, you know, go on there, try it out, have fun, and uh, you know, get used to this technology because this is you know this is the infrastructure of the second realm. So, you know, the future is definitely here. It really is here, and it's time to start abandoning it, abandoning the freedom-destroying infrastructure of the first realm. Now, the internet's been great, right? Uh, it's, it's, it's been great for, for a lot of reasons, for self-liberational media, where people can go on YouTube and post their, you know, uh, van conversions for van nomadism, uh, for, you know, survivalism, for crypto-anarchism, all that stuff. It's been, it's, it's been really great for that, but it, it's also been a major tool for, uh, for our enemies, for the state and the servile society. So it's time to start using these decentralized platforms. It really, really is. Um, so after I, you know, tonight, uh, along with this video, I'll post a link to my social media accounts there on ZeroNet. I don't know how much I'll use those, honestly, but I'm going to go ahead and create them and then give them to you guys. And if I find out that a lot of people are using it, or at least, you know, a good number of people are using it, um, then I'll get on there. And, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd love to use those. I'd love to use those. But for my purposes right now, I'm just trying to get the websites that I host onto uh, this decentralized, uh, you know, on the decentralized Bitcoin network. Really, really incredible. The future is here. It is here. So again, zeronet.io, download it, go you go test everything out, set up a website. If, uh, if you, uh, you know, have, have one, or if you don't just go ahead and set up a website and, uh, I'll post a link to, uh, they actually offer a little bit of a tutorial. It's not great. It's not, it's not really uh, clear. It's not, uh, it's not uh, as user friendly as I would like it to be, but it is there and it'll it'll help you get everything uh, kind of set up. I'll put all of those links in the show notes. Uh, but guys, I'd really really recommend giving this a shot. Even if you just go around for you know you know download it, go you know go on there for thirty minutes and just test it out. I think that's a really really great start. But I think the goal should be abandoning the first realm infrastructure altogether and moving towards these decentralized, free and open source alternatives. Um, that's uh, you know no censorship and uh, all of that uh, all of that good stuff so that's uh, all I have for you uh, in this video uh, let me go ahead and mention the live episode of the Vanu podcast uh, that's happening tomorrow March 30th at 1 p.m. Central Time on the Liberty Under Attack YouTube channel uh, youtube.com forward slash Liberty Under Attack uh, we're gonna take your questions so if you have any question if you have anything on if you have any questions on self-liberation uh, your Vanu lifestyle uh, choice or whatever it is uh, please 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 join us live uh, it's the first time we're doing this, and I want it to be great, uh, really great success, a lot of valuable insight. And you can even uh, call in, you know, uh, if you've got a microphone, you want to call in and chat with us about your uh, your situation. Uh, we'll definitely give a, a join link uh, to the YouTube Hangout. So, uh, yeah, please please join us. Please join us. It's going to be a lot of fun, a lot of great information, uh, another piece of self, self-liberational media. So, uh, thanks, guys, so much for watching. Website, uh, libertyunderattack.com. Uh, for my LUA stuff. Currently, we're doing the Building the Second Realm series. So we're talking about Second Realm infrastructure right now uh, with ZeroNet. That's what we're talking about uh, over on Liberty Under Attack. It's uh, going to be the 12th episode coming on Sunday. And also the Vonnie Podcast, uh, VonniePodcast.com. Uh, we are, uh, I guess, getting close to wrapping up our Van Nomadism portion of it. And uh, believe it or not, uh, you know, ZeroNet could be a major help to, uh, to, to a new and Van Nomad intentional community. Uh, it really could be. You want to talk about, uh, I guess, a decentralized private internet, uh, private digital economies, all that sort of stuff with mesh networking. Uh, it's here. It's called ZeroNet. And uh, it's, it's a really, really incredible thing. So please, you know, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go use this. And uh, let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you have any uh, questions, comments, anything like that? Uh, I'd certainly love to hear from you. And uh, yeah, hope to see you here on uh, the, Liber the, Liber the uh, Liberty Under Attack channel uh, for the live Vonu podcast episode coming to you tomorrow, March 30th at 1 p.m. Central. Thanks so much, guys, and I will talk to you uh, very soon. Get up, boy!